suppose we have to talk about this reboot of all females doing American Pie. How does that even work? You do know what happened to that pie in American Pie. How how does that even work? Are they are they are they sitting on it? Are they spreading open and sitting down and smushing the pie in between their uh <clears throat> Hello everyone, I am I don't know where my intro is. Mecca Red 42, the one, the only, the original, still your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy, and we're doing the intro in the middle of the live stream just to clip this because short videos get hits and content. And if you guys do like the content, we're watching this until we get sick of it. Please like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, keep your comments to yourself. Uh, no, people can hate watch me all they want because it still helps and it's called interaction. I just might disagree with them and I might just clap back a little from time to time as I do. <sighs> how, how does a female American Pie reboot even work? How? American Pie female spinoff Girls Rule is coming to Netflix and it looks as rude as ever. All right, so they've got the trailer here. I don't know how much of this I can actually watch. American Pie is set to flip the script with its latest spinoff. So it's just a spinoff. Who cares? It's just, it's like, it's like uh, the American Pie reunion movies. We can safely ignore this. This isn't going to ruin, and, and let's face it. Who thought for one minute that American Pie was going to be something that people form form fandoms around because i don't think it is it's not like star wars or star trek they're fun little teen movies that are kind of gross and kind of weird and i can look back on them 20 years ago and i think i saw one of the more recent ones and it was kind of interesting to see where everybody was 20 years later but i don't care about this i don't care about a bunch of college girls and i feel a little creepy looking at them sometimes just a little bit even though they are of legal age but isn't that the new thing that they want to re and be? <gasps> oh, you were grooming. I'm, in a, I'm not an adult because I'm not 27. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. When grown women can complain that they're getting taken advantage of. Hey, Super Nanny, what's she up to? 4000 a month on takeaway. Super Nanny Joe Frost and is horrified his parents admit to spending $4,000 a month on takeaways. How do you have $4,000 a month to spend on takeaway? Now I want to see what's up with Super Nanny. Do we, do we care more about what's going on with Super Nanny or do we care about American Pie? I think I care about Super Nanny more right now. <laughs> this upcoming movie, which will be released on Netflix uh, as well as digital disc in October, follows a group of female high schoolers as they tackle romance in their senior year. Well, well, here's the thing, though. This is my experience with the 20-somethings and the younger the younger than me people. Because remember, I'm an old person here. The people younger than me who go around getting upset with me because I said that Netflix She-Ra was kind of a bad design and that if you have a 300-pound superhero with Spinnerella, kids might make fun of that, right? So, so they get mad at me. Now, what I've found is that a lot of these 27-year-old grown women children are so undateable, right? Is, is this like a new gen generation or something? Is this like a new demographic where like the the people who are like 18 right now are actually kind of semi-normal and it's just the ones between like 23 and 35 that are kind of nuts? Is that is that what I'm getting? Is that what I'm thinking? <laughs> people are, yes, Super Nanny. They, we want to see what's up with Super Nanny. Hey, did you know that Super Nanny, her brother was on Shaun of the Dead? Isn't that, isn't that true? Is that real? Or did I just make that up? I think I might have made that up. Now I don't know what's real anymore. The teaser sees four friends in their senior year at East Great Falls High School, the same school from the original flick, looking to spice up their lives before graduation. You know, I could just watch the in-betweeners. Can't I? I if, if I really wanted a reboot of American Pie, it's pretty much the same thing. I'll just watch the in-betweeners. Oh, yay, because look at what we've got here. You've got you've got an overweight girl. You've got a representation of every, of every shade of the rainbow, because of course you do nowadays. And... <laughs> Oh, the synopsis. The boys won't know what hit them when these sassy sweethearts are calling the shots. And I think that's the problem. That was kind of the way it was when I was a teenager, though, too. Guys were kind of just starting to get a little bit more timid. And you had to go go after them and tell them you wanted them if you were a woman. And I don't necessarily know if I like that. I don't necessarily know if I like the less traditional sort of roles being so normalized. But, but hey... 
you got to live with what you got to live with, right? Is Eugene Levy in it? I don't know. I don't know yet. Scott Gentry, it's only good if Tara Reid is in it with references to her, <laughs> to, to her, um, mm, yeah, her assets, we'll just say. American Pie 5 was touted in 2012, but the fifth installment of the original has yet to materialize. Uh, I mean, so, so this is just a spinoff. This is, a, this isn't even, like, they're not just remaking it, they're just spinning it off. Do we have any of the trailer that we can actually show? Uh-huh, and you got basically, <laughs> I don't know how much of this I could even show. Probably not a lot. We'll just, we'll just skip showing the trailer. <sighs> Who is this for? Nobody. Nobody. Is this going to be any good? Probably not. Probably not. I probably have to look at the trailer to know if I would even watch this, but... As far as young teenagers, I, I just don't know. Derangelo, take 99 cents super chat. Thank you so much. And a lookout, one pound super chat. I really appreciate it. Shelby MD, this is literally the plot to Neighbors 2. Sass sassy college girls doing stuff. <laughs> so no more Campbell movies like in the 70s, those poor women. I don't know. What generation are we on right now? I, I think they're called Zoomers. I think they're called Zoomers. <laughs> Made solely for Wokemon. That that might be the case. It might be just a representation sort of thing. I guess. I don't know. I would rather just watch the in-betweeners or something. Because if I'm going to watch a bunch of teenagers trying to score. Because that's what it is. Or Beavis and Butthead. Hey, Beavis and Butthead's coming back. I'll just watch that. I don't know. I, I just don't care. I, I don't think this is going to even hurt. I, I can't be outraged by this because it's a spinoff. It's not like they're going in and just replacing it. And I also can't be outraged because who the crap has a fandom based around the American Pie movies, right? It's not like Star Wars or Star Trek. It's not one of those or Doctor Who where it's like a sci-fi geek fandom, right? It's, it's the American Pie movies. You have people who like them enough, but they're not like... They're barely even called classics. But we're fury $5 Australian Super Chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're so generous. Too generous. They already made a movie like this. It's called Book Smart. Beavis and Butthead won't be woke. I don't think it will be. I don't. I, re I really don't think so. What else are you guys saying? Uh, at least I can cook. Most of, most of these fem feminists can't boil an egg. Well, they can't make cereal a lot of these younger people because it's too hard. <laughs> like, seriously. All right. What's, what's Super Nanny up to? That's more interesting. Horrified. His parents admit to spending 4000 a month on takeaway. Me parents who admit in spending over 2k a month. All right. The child expert is back in the States for his latest. Oh, Super Nanny's back. Why didn't anyone tell me Super Nanny's back? See, we needed more Super Nannies because you know what happened? All of those kids who needed Super Nanny to come in and she didn't get to. What happened? They all grew up. All of those kids 20 years ago, they all grew up and decided to throw temper tantrums because they didn't get their way because they realized they weren't that special and weren't that important. That's what happened. We need more super nanny. We need more people who realize that they can actually send their child to bed and give them consequences for their actions. And then, you know, maybe maybe we wouldn't have a whole generation of people who don't understand that they're not the first, they're not that special, that their other people have it pretty hard and might have had it a little harder than them, and that their need to create these first world problems just to have something is a little sad. So that's all I have to say about, what were we talking about? Oh, the, the, the American Pie reboot. I am going back to my live stream chat. Don't you guys go anywhere. Also, who has $4,000 a month on anything? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. 